tea has for long been a cornerstone of the Ugandan economy, covering 50,000 hectares of land and providing livelihoods to 66,000 farmers across the country and making it the fifth highest export commodity of the country. However, beneath the picture sick landscapes lies a brewing crisis that threatens to shake the foundation of the industry for two years now. This has caused alarm from the Uganda Tea Association to their mother umbrella body to respond to their crisis. So we thought intervention from our neighbors, uh, East Africa Tea Trade Association, to come and give us an insight on how we can address the issues. We discussed exhaustively the issues and I am happy that now everyone understands. It is a crisis that is spread the world over and affecting all tea growing countries. But Uganda problem is a little bit unique because it is mainly based on the quality of their final product, which is not matching the quality of the final product from the neighboring countries. But, uh, primarily Sudan. Sudan has been a critical player within the Uganda sector. From May last year is when we started seeing um, the prices of Uganda tea is coming down sharply. And that is uh, attributable to the fact that uh, Sudan went into war. So it's an economy which is under distress at the moment. Minister of State for Agriculture, Fred Buino Chakulaga, reiterated government's commitment to implementing policies that promote investment, improve access to credit and market information, and enhance the overall competitiveness of Ugandan tea. The tea producers of Uganda have requested for uh, a bailout, a cash bailout, so that they can meet some of the immediate challenges that can help to uh, unblock the tea trade in Uganda. And the government uh, is looking into this request. And uh, the detail is that we hope to do to, to help them, to help the tea producers through the agriculture credit finance. The ongoing crisis in Uganda's tea industry is attributed to a combination of factors, including quality, fluctuating global demand, and increased competition from other tea producing nations, which exert pressure on Ugandan farmers. However, there is hope that if Uganda improves on the quality of her tea, there will be ready market. It is very important to note that 70% uh, of the factors that have resulted into this tea crisis arise out of the tea leaf itself. And uh, when I talk about this, I, I mean that uh, the farmer is uh, a big stakeholder in solving the tea crisis because matters of quality are in the hands of the tea producer. If the issue of quality is settled, then I believe the issue of market will be settled, yes. There is a lot of demand for good quality teas. And this, is, this can actually be demonstrated by the disparity in prices between the better quality teas and the poorer quality teas. Amidst the challenges ahead, there is optimism that with strategic interventions and collective action, Uganda's tea industry can overcome its current crisis and once again flourish. The actors further seek to meet President Yoweri Museveni to have an in-depth discussion on solving the problem at hand. Mary Namkose, UBC News.